Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Hello and good afternoon. Greetings from Ankeny, Iowa. Uh, Ankeny is spelled A N K E N Y, Polk County, Iowa. Ankeny is uh, about two miles north of Interstate 80 here in Des Moines, Iowa. We are currently traveling on uh, Interstate 35 South. Looks like we're gonna have to take this 80 west and continuing on to 35 south towards Kansas City. Local time is 4.05, temperature is 20 degrees. We are down to 720 miles to Terrell, Texas. State 80 West, 0.4 miles away. Here we go. I just got an email from one of you guys that warned me that Wichita, Kansas, has freezing rain and have plenty of accidents so I am not gonna go that way then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take 35 south to I'll somehow end up going to Joplin uh, Missouri actually Cartage uh, Missouri hopefully I can make it to the Flying J over there in Carthage, but I doubt it. It's been kind of a slow day today. found a uh, truck stop at Flying J about a hundred miles ago. Took my 30 minute break and uh, another 30 minute. So I took an hour break, took a nap. Boy, that feels so good. You know, I love coffee, but they ain't nothing better than taking a power nap in the afternoon. So far it's just kind of wet, although the windshield is showing some ice. Roads are 
roads are okay. Not slippery or anything. Don't see any accidents and whatever else. station up ahead somewhere more than likely they're almost always closed but not a guarantee they do like to play games they like to play hide and seek I'm not going to mention where, but uh, not too long ago, I picked up a load, right? I went and showed up to the shipper. I waited online until the lady opens the window. And there's this electric fan. It's a battery-operated electric fan right there by the window. As I approached the window, the fan was off. Before she opened the window, she turned the fan facing me. I thought, wow, that was odd. I mean, usually fans are... <laughs> fans are designed to cool oneself. And all this... Uh, all this air blowing air out. Then I realized, wow, this girl has really got things for truck drivers. And you know, I, I kind of, it kind of, it kind of ticked me off a little bit. I mean, I thought it was kind of offensive. It was kind of insulting. But then again, you know, look at, looking at it from her point of view okay we look at things as truckers we look at inside the window that's that's all we ever know right and for them their view is that's all they ever know is looking from the window out day in day out they meet all kinds of truck drivers of all kinds of size and weight and you know ethnicity and and I realized you know I, I then I kind of reasoned to myself I said well there are those of us that uh, really does <laughs> really do reach But still, I don't know, it was... It wasn't a good feeling. <laughs> it was not a good feeling at all to be blasted with air. As I said, in her defense, I'm sure she's she's met a few, or more than a few, that probably are really bad. It is what it is, right? Okay, so why are we doing 48 miles per hour? Have you 
you ever, you know, took a step back and try to imagine their point of view, they, I mean, regardless of whether it be the shipper, the receiver, the security guard, uh, police, the other, the other people that makes this world. You ever take a moment and step back and put yourself in their shoes? Knowing what you know about trucking. I think most of the time we get so tunnel vision of our own ways and in our own life, our own work. get all caught up in ourselves that we forget how people view us whether it be good whether it be bad Doctors, nurses, lawyers, EMTs, road constructions, workers. Another one that I could add to the list. Uh, YouTube uh, consumers, people like you that watches this video, I try to imagine myself in your shoes. What's it like to be, you know, follower of a YouTuber, a non-truck driver? By the way, right now I have 4 hours and 28 minutes remaining to drive. And I've only got maybe... I think I've only got like 4 hours and 35 minutes on my 14, so... I'm kind of racing against the clock. Let 
me try to explain that, okay? Let's just say I have five hours on my 14 hour clock. I have four hours and 15 minutes available to drive. That simply means that I can afford, I can only afford to stop for 10 minutes before I sacrifice my driving hours. Now even though, let's just say I have four hours and 55 minutes available to drive, but my 14 only has four hours and 50 minutes available, uh, available. Obviously, I can't drive four hours and 55 minutes, right? Ooh, somebody tried that. Somebody was asking me to try to explain ELDs. Uh, I could never do it. Basically, what you are, it all boils down to we truck drivers are allowed to work in a 14 hour day. I gotta be careful how to say this because it's very complicated. We're allowed to work 14 hour in a day. And we have and we are allowed to work, we are allowed to drive 11 hours in a day in a 14 hour period. But the more you stop, the less chances you're able to drive your 11 hours. Let's just say delay after delay you're tired, you gotta stop every 100 miles, take an hour break. Obviously, it, you know, you're not gonna be able to drive your 11 hours in a 14 hour period because you're, you're taking way too much break. Again, let me say this. Uh, you have 14 hours to accomplish your 11 hour driving in a day. And you can't drive for more than eight hours without taking a 30 minute mandatory break. That, let's just say for the sake of conversation, I'll give you a, the best scenario that you can, that one driver can have. Which, it happens, but not all the time. Like me, I just, I, I was off the whole weekend, I've got 70 hours available. At 12 noon, I checked, uh, I punched in, did a free, uh, 15 minute pre-trip. Right? So. At 12 noon, I drove, 12.15, at 12.15, I started driving. Now, how long can I drive for? I can't drive eight hours. I don't think, because your 15 minute again goes against your, uh, your driving, I think. See, this is why I don't try to, I don't try to explain the LD. Yeah, for, for if I were, I started at noon, did a 15 minute pre-trip. I can only now drive for seven hours and 
45 minutes. Now I gotta take a 30 minute break. So it is uh, 7. Uh, forget it. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. Uh, nah. Somebody else explain it. Just, I, just, I know how to work it, just don't know how to explain it. what you call uh, tried and died. so much for watching thank you for joining me and glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ one mile at a time have a good and godly day everybody thanks for watching peace